So this Humvee comes with all the bells and whistles. Uh, it's got, let's see. Oh yeah, big motor in there. Music mode. And a Chinese woman's voice, I don't know what all that's about. Um, but it has headlights and uh, rear tail lights. It's got a light up dash. We have music. Music mode. The fisherman and the fish. It even has pre programmed stuff on there. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a Humvee if it didn't have leather interior. So it's got some nice leather interior doors that actually open and close. The latch it has seat belts, which are fantastic little things. And one of the most important aspects to this Humvee is that it has four wheel drive. A lot of your typical Ride on toys only have two wheel drive. This one has four wheel drive and it has rubber tires. So, living out in the country, that is something that we definitely needed to have in looking at purchasing one of these. We needed to make sure that we had four wheel drive, that we had uh, rubber tires, things like that. So, this is a fully loaded, fully complete Humvee. Plus, for me, it comes with a remote control. So, I can literally drive this thing wherever I want it to go. It's like having the biggest remote control car I've ever had. I mean, toys just get bigger as you get older, right? Music mode. That is pretty cool. Too cool. I want to go outside, but he's going to see it if I do. Now, we do have one problem with this Humvee. Uh, this is made for ages four and under. Our son is four years old, but if you've watched our channel for some time, then you probably know that our four-year-old was actually what they call a preemie, which just means that he came to us a lot earlier than what they had put down for his projected birth date, about three months early. So he runs on the small side when it comes to kiddos, and that's something that we have to be careful of, but it's also something we have to be mindful of with uh, stuff like this. He's been looking forward to having a ride-on toy for years, and we just haven't gotten him one. But I think he's gotten to that point now where we want to teach him some independence. We want him to have some independent play. And this is something that we could put him out there on. We've got the remote control. We can feel safe about it. Just watch him have a good time. We could teach him how to take care of it like he would a car or anything else. So there's a lot of benefits to having these types of, you know, ride-on toys for kids. But but the, the problem is, is mainly that he's just too small for it. Even at four years old, it was made for four and below, but he just doesn't have the length yet to hit the gas pedal to be able to reach the steering wheel and drive comfortably. And the, the last thing I needed to measure here before I start modifying this on. I wanted to make sure that he would be able to see above this windshield, which I think, looking at it now, I think he'll be okay with the windshield. I think it's just the length and, see, so he, his eyes will sit just above that windshield, so I think he'll be 
he'll be good on that. But we've, we've got a situation. We, he only has, when he's sitting down, 17 inches from his back to the tip of his foot, which is just going to be a little bit too far, not close enough to hit that pedal. I think I need to get this a good, you know, you know three inches, maybe four inches. If I take this in four inches, that'll give him a nice comfortable, he'll be able to sit back so we want him to have the seat belt on to be able to reach things. And then with his hands, he's got about 11 inches. So I guess if, if he were leaning forward on the seat right now, that wouldn't be a problem. So I may compromise here and do three inches just to not push it too far forward, but to give it a little bit, you know, of a push forward so that he'll be able to comfortably reach that gas pedal. If he has to reach a little bit with his toes at first, that's okay. Abner is one of those kids that grows, you know, he'll grow an inch in one month, a half an inch in another month. He grows extremely quickly right now, but he is still, you know, pretty small. I think this is designed for somebody who's about 40 inches and um, he's only about 30. So there's a 10 inch difference in size here that I've got to make up for the driver. So let's get to this. I'm going to show you what I've purchased and the, how I'm going to design this so that it's still a safe toy. The seats will still be secure. He's not going to come flying out of this thing when he's, you know, rearing around corners. Just make sure that it's something that he can use without us, you know, flipping out and thinking that something's going to happen to him. So I was originally thinking that I was going to have to move this up a good four inches, but right now I'm thinking three inches will be enough. He's going to lose the functionality of the door, but we could open and close it for him or he could climb out over the side. He'll, I have a feeling he's just going to end up climbing out over the side. Um, so really all I have to do is move this forward about three inches and it should be fine for him. I don't need to, you know, move this thing way up like I was I was thinking I was going to have to do. Of course, it still might be easier for him up four inches. So, uh, let's see if I can do something that allows me to adjust this so that he can, you know, sit on it at different stages. The kid only weighs 30 pounds, so I think Whatever I do will be fairly easy to adjust the seat to. So inside here, I've got the battery compartment under the seat. And it's got some nubbies sticking up that the seat would normally screw into. Um, so I need to take those into consideration as I build a platform that can slide forward and back. I think what I might do is cut a little track to go around those. We'll just have to see how this works. I'm gonna measure across the inside and um, I'm gonna cut a platform, kind of a lightweight platform that'll move back and forth in there. Okay, so I measured the width of it, 19 and a half inches. And I, I don't want, so I, I want the grain to be running this way so the seat sits across this way, this, because the grain is strongest going in that direction. So uh, we'll take it across here, 19 and a half. We'll measure down on the ends here. down here. And you can see I'm just using about a quarter inch piece of plywood um, and it's super lightweight. You don't want anything heavy because these cars don't have a ton of power as it is. Let's see, pick. Sure 
I'm going straight across here. So I have two things to consider with the width. I want this, the edge of the seat to be out 13 inches, but I'd like to be able to scoot it back a few inches as it gets a little bigger and be able to use the same system. So I know that 13 is my maximum length. Now he is, the seat itself is nine inches. So we at least need that nine inches in there. And then that gives us one, two, three, that's our four inches that we're trying to kick out. And I think I'm going to do 11 inches and I have a plan to just make sure that doesn't, doesn't flip forward on him. Now I'm actually going to use metal along the bottom of the seat to give it some extra strength because this is a pretty thin piece of plywood. So we're going to have to cut this at 11 inches. Last thing I think I'm going to do insert a dowel support between there and there. Six inches. So I've got this thing braced pretty good. I've got some new legs on the front to support this so that when it's sitting on the edge, it doesn't flip over. Um, I've added some back bracing. I had to screw in from the back side of the seat into this board. And I've got some metal down at the bottom and that's primarily just to help offer a little more support to this flimsier board. But it's still pretty lightweight. It's not very heavy. I don't think I'm adding that much weight to the overall uh, truck. Now, what I'll probably do is screw this into the truck from the top here, and I'll also screw it into the bottom of the truck 
down here. But before I do that, I'm going to paint this black so it matches the truck. Um, now the seat is on there pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this in plastic and then hit it with some spray paint. Hit this with some black spray paint so it looks like it matches it. feature it stops on a dime when you push the stop button and then it won't move it won't do anything until you take the stop button off and then all of a sudden it'll move again pretty cool I've always wanted one of these This has been quite the project here. I'm about to install the seat. I've got it three inches off the back, uh, which Shauna and I feel is the best distance for Abner. Uh, that gets him up close enough to the steering wheel, close enough to the foot pedal, and the foot pedal on these is kind of off center a little bit, so uh, I think that'll... The, the, where we have it right now is kind of the, the perfect distance for him. I'm gonna mark where I have this sitting on the bottom with some tape, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a couple holes where my dowels are sitting. I'm gonna come up from underneath and screw in, this is a screw on a washer. So I'm gonna screw that up from underneath and then uh, we'll screw down the back side of it and then I've got a little bit of a gap back here where you can see the wires that I'm gonna have to do something about, but let's get the seat installed first and then we'll worry about that back there. Oh. Let's see, I need a light. And uh, just find my dowel. Here, so just put that right in front of where the dowel sits. So my plan on this back here is to pretty much do the same thing. I'm just going to put some screws in and that should hold it. Let me get some screws. I'm hoping I can squeeze this down in there. Yep. Just barely. If I can get it started, I can finish it by hand. Okay, so you can see I've just got a screw on each side, goes down into the plastic of the back of my board, and it is on there pretty solid. I can't lift this up, which is what I was hoping for. Now, I, what I am gonna do here is just cut a piece 
to cover where the wires and stuff are so that if he's playing and he tries to put something in the back of this thing, uh, it doesn't cause a problem there because I don't like that opening. This is where his stuff is supposed to go, but I can see my son putting stuff in there as well. So we'll get that covered up. And on the other side here, I have the screw with the washer around it. It's actually going up through a pretty hardy piece of plastic and then through the frame because you've got this, I don't know what this foot thing here is, it's, uh, on the outside of the truck because he's, he's got more chrome on his truck than I do on mine. It's embarrassing. Anyway, so uh, this screw goes up and through the dowel that's coming down from the seat. So it feels pretty sturdy right now. He's not very heavy, he's pretty lightweight. So I'm, I'm thinking that this modification will work and be safe. We'll have to keep an eye on it, make sure. But, you know, it helps that they build these trucks out of some solid plastic because, you know, I was a little disappointed actually ordering this from big green country out of California. I was hoping it was American made. And then when I turned it on and I heard the voice and the music, I, I realized that it was not. But it is a pretty decent quality and we needed something four wheel drive. And, you know, this has motors on each of its four wheels. So it definitely has the power that we need it to. And I, it, working on it, modifying it, the plastic's a lot more heavy duty than what I thought it was. Because, you know, when you first get it and you're just looking at these shiny doors and stuff, you don't think it's very strong. But I don't know. And I like the remote control, but this is how, so I've basically got four screws holding this in, which is all they ever really have on these things. So at this point, I've been out here working on this thing for quite some time and it's Christmas Eve. He's going to get this tomorrow. I think what I'm going to do is call it quits for now because in his first day of driving this, I can't imagine that he's going to get anything down in that back compartment. So I'm going to wait on that piece. It's something I'll cut and put in there before anything happens to it. But I think that this truck is looking mighty good to go for now. It's got that slight seat modification for a preemie and uh, he'll be good to go in this well after he's four years old. I mean, this is gonna be like his little UTV around the ranch. It's pretty awesome. Um, I don't think I would have picked Hummer as my initial style, but it is pretty slick looking. Yeah. It is a pretty nice looking Humvee. Oh, this is going to be fun. When I get it down the steps, I actually get to drive it with the remote. It's Christmas morning and we got to get this thing out of here. Okay, let's see. Get the unplug it. I didn't do a good job of replacing the charging plug. mirrors in, I think.
that's a car like in your picture? Yeah. Should we go check it out? Yeah. What does this mean? It means it's a mystery. <laughs> that's a mystery car. It's a mystery car? Yeah. I don't know about that. It's really funny. Locked. Oh. Wait, hold on, hold on. I can put them in on the bag of sheets. I don't know how to open it. Here, let's open it. There you go, Abs. Well, you gotta put your seatbelt on, okay? It's cold, buddy. Wait, 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 hold on. Okay, now. Close your door. Close your door. Close your door. All right, now push the button. Now, put your foot on the gas pedal. Okay, wait, we gotta put it into gear. All right, hold on. <laughs> Mommy. Um, here. Okay. Here we go, we'll put it in the drive. Now. The fisherman and the fish. Push the gas and go. Uh, uh, you're on, you're on. You push the gas down there. The yep. Press the gas pedal. Go down there. Keep pressing it, that makes it go. looking how to stop it. Good job, buddy. Bring it up here. Turn it, turn it, turn daddy, turn it towards daddy. You gotta turn the wheels. Hey, good job. Oh, okay, whoa. Turn, 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 turn. it's not me. <laughs> You're not. I had to let him, found her, you had to stop it. He ran into something. Here, if you want to go backwards, Push this down, now push the gas and you'll go backwards. No, no, not that, push the gas. There you go. Now, take your foot off. There you go. Now, if you wanna go forward, lift this all the way up. Now push your pedal and you'll go forward. Push the pedal, like a car. There you go. Now turn your wheels that way. Good job, buddy. Okay, go inside. Good job. Is that awesome? Yeah. Yeah. Is the seat too close? Do you need it pulled back a little bit? Or do you like where it is? I like where it is. Because Daddy can move his seat all the way back if you need to. Well, this makes it really bad, man. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't see him. Abner, is this awesome? Are you going to be driving it all over the place now? Yeah. Yeah?